nothing more important to a quarterback-receiver relationship than timing. A good QB never waits for his receiver to come open to throw the ball. He drops back and finds his target to his left. As the receiver makes his cut, the ball should already be in the air, giving him optimum space to make the catch. Instead, the quarterback waits till he completely makes his break, and they actually make eye contact before the ball ever leaves his arm. The late throw gives the safety time to react and have a chance to disrupt the catch. A good quarterback can play zone defenders like puppets with one flutter of his eyes. But when he drops back, he locks onto one side of the field and onto one single receiver. Well, he's not the only one who's got radar lock. The linebacker's reading his eyes the whole way, and once the ball's released, it's just read and react for any good defender. A QB's ability to lie to the defense with his eyes is one of his most valuable assets. Decision-making is a good quarterback's fundamental foundation. It's second and 10, 36 seconds left, and you're down seven points. He escapes the pressure and buys time to make a play, but here's the crucial mistake. Instead of throwing it away to have third and fourth down to advance the ball and extend the game, he forces a 50-yard floater. Oh yeah, did I mention triple coverage too? You can't teach awareness, and it's the great ones that always understand the situation, even when they're in the eye of the storm. 